Welcome to Reef Reimagined from a Real Reef Hobbyist. What I want to do in these episodes is culture a very biodiverse live rock naturally, grow our macroalgae for nutrient export, and grow large amounts of pods to help break down detritus and keep our tanks clean. In our first episode, we'll set up a small system where we can cycle our fresh ocean rock. We'll introduce that rock to the tank and go through the short cycling process so we can observe it for any unwanted pests. Alrighty, our tank is set up. We've got our light on, got our aqua clear on, we've got a heater in there, which you can't even see. We've got our power head turning, and we have our ammonia alert. So everything's ready. We're pre-drilled, so we can tie this into our dead rocks at some point. So we're ready to go. I just, because nothing's in here, I just made the salt water in the tank here. So I had RODI water. And now I just added a bunch of salt to get it mixed up. We'll make sure it's to the uh, right salinity levels and this will clear out obviously shortly. And then once our rock arrives, we can get it installed and see how it goes. Okay, so we have our live rock. This is from uh, Golf Live Rock um, out of Florida, obviously. So I cut the box open so it's a cooler. Plastic bag. Plastic bag. Wow. It has some smells to it and some crustaceans and stuff. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. Loaded with life. Loaded. These are all nice sized pieces for our little experiment here. It's a little bit bigger piece. Let's get these in the tank and we'll see what they look like. Okay, so our rock is in. You can see it's loaded with algaes, different kinds of life forms. There's some snails and stuff on there. Again, a lot of this stuff may not like it. You can see there's a lot of it, a lot of sediment blowing around in the tank, but our filtration should take out some of that. But see how much of this stuff makes it, but really, it's cool for all that stuff, but we're really focused on the biome. And that's what I want to see. If we can take all of this natural ocean life and we'll again, we'll watch this rock for a period of time, make sure it doesn't have any of those things that we don't want in our tanks. And we're going to use this to seed about a four to one ratio of, um, you know, live rock to base rock. So 20% live rock, um, 80% base rock or dry rock. We're going to see if we can seed that and get this kind of life to grow on that kind of rock and how long it takes. So pretty exciting to get the rock in the tank and we're going to see how this goes. It's always kind of fun to see what's in the bag. Looks like we have a little starfish here. I'm sure he's not alive, not being in water, unfortunately. Um, showing no signs of movement or life. Some pieces of decent rubble. We'll sponge of some kind on there. Watch that guy. Some more pieces. Some of these larger pieces I'll probably just throw in, but oh, that was, looks like a larger starfish there. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. Now maybe there's some deeper in the rocks that survived. It has an ocean smell, but it does not smell rotten, which is good. You know, this stuff obviously isn't shipped underwater where some of these other things may have lived at the time. But for now, it feels pretty fresh. Like I said, it's it has an ocean smell, not a, a stinky, rotten smell. So we'll watch the ammonia and we'll, we'll see how the tank does. But I think there's a lot of life in here um, that should do very well and have survived this time of shipping. So it's been a couple days since we've put the live rock in the tank. Um, I just did a quick test on my API test kit, which I use for cycling. It's quick, it's cheap, um, but get an idea. pH is low. Nitrites are present and nitrates are in that five to 10 range. So 
there is some die off going on the, on the rock as we expected. Um, the ammonia alert is showing uh, presence of ammonia as well. So just because of the lack of pH, I am going to do a small water change, maybe 10, 15 percent, uh, just to try and get that pH back in line. But everything else, we're just going to kind of let ride and uh, we'll see how it goes. The tank itself has cleared up nicely. Water's nice and clear. Everything looks great. Like I said, if we go over here, you can see the on that ammonia alert, the presence of ammonia. But the rock looks really, really good still. Water's not cloudy. Not seeing anything that makes it look like it's it's bad. I am running um, in the aqua clear carbon and foam filtration. So the mechanical filtration's really done a nice job getting all the particles out of the water. Uh, the carbon's keeping any smell down if there was any. Like I said, when we got this rock, it didn't really smell bad at all. It smelled, like I said, the ocean. It didn't have like a dead smell to it or a rotten smell. Um, so, so far, so good. Well, like I said, we're just going to keep going with this until we get this rock cycled and things stable. And then we'll start introducing some of the base rock. Just want to give a quick update again. It's been five days since this rock has been introduced into the tank. Um, and our ammonia is back to zero. So we had a, a sh very, very short mini cycle, uh, just a handful of days to, for this rock to process any of the die off that happened during shipping. And we are basically now with a cycle tank. Now that our ocean rock is cycled, we're going to move on to our dry rock. This is a critical step in the process. In our next episode, we're going to prepare our rock three different ways to see which is the best way to incorporate the life from the ocean rock into that dry rock. We will use dry rock right out of the box. Dry rock soaked in a vinegar solution and rinsed in RODI water. And the third one, we will use a more aggressive approach. We will cure the rock in muriatic acid and rinse in RODI water. We will take those three rocks and add them alongside our ocean rock under full light. What we're looking to see is how we prepare the dry rock and its effects on incorporating the ocean rock biome and life into that dry rock. I hope you can join us for the next episode, where we work toward creating a better biome and a better reef tank. Thank you for watching, and please remember to like and follow.